We're already well into 2014 and we're going full speed ahead here at Vogel 3 and 4 near Augusta, Georgia. What a busy and productive few months we've had here on the site. Recently, one of the largest components, the CA-20 module, was lifted into the Unit 3 nuclear island. CA-20 was constructed on site with 72 sub-modules welded together. The completed structure is almost five stories high and constructed mainly of steel plates. This much-awaited event involved a huge team effort. Here's Clint Medlock, Supplier Compliance Director, to tell us about the importance of the CA-20 placement. The CA-20 lift was the largest lift performed to date on the project. We've got a step change in Nuclear Island now. You can see the AUX building coming into place next to the containment structure there on Nuclear Island. We now have our refueling canal that will be connected soon. And that allows for us to continue to progress the project. With the AP-1000 design, modular construction is a key asset that allows for us to build the nuclear plant in a quicker fashion and ensure that we are in accordance with our licensing basis. The assembly occurs here in the modular assembly building for all the structural modules. We have several suppliers that perform fabrication activities. CB&I and Southern Nuclear with Westinghouse all provide that oversight at those suppliers to ensure that we are in accordance with the licensing and design basis. We've learned a great deal with regard to the configuration management of these modules with regard to the quality of the craftsmanship that we need to apply moving forward. And that will not only apply to the Unit 4 CA-20 module, but all the remainder of the modules that we have to place on both Unit 3 Nuclear Island and Unit 4 Nuclear Island. Thanks, Clint. The CA-20 module will house the fuel transfer canal, the spent fuel pool, and several other critical areas for Unit 3. Before we know it, Unit 3 will be ready for the fuel load scheduled for 2017. In February of this year, Department of Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz was at the site to sign loan guarantees, which will result in significant savings for customers. Various representatives from Georgia Power and Southern Company were on hand to witness this historic event. It's great to come down from Washington, down here in Georgia, see real stuff, real big stuff <laughs> uh, going on. We see ourselves uh, with this uh, loan guarantee support really as one part of a team uh, from uh, multiple parts of our private sector and our, and our governments uh, that, are, that are always needed to have big complex projects uh, succeed. So uh, I think this is something else to celebrate uh, today that we can all pull together and, and get this done. What an exciting time this is for everyone involved in the Vogel 3 and 4 project as the dream of new nuclear draws ever nearer to becoming a reality for our company and our country. With so much happening here at the plant, it was critical that a central location was established for reporting, analyzing, and resolving issues affecting the quality and progress of the project. The Operations Control Center, or OCC, was established in January of 2014 and was modeled after the outage control centers used at the various operating companies throughout the Southern Company system. The facility is monitored 24-7 and contains the most advanced technology to allow quick access to project personnel and documents. Recently, we spoke with George Kucharavi, Director of Site Operations for Westinghouse, to tell us more about the day-to-day -day operations of the OCC. The concept of the Operations Control Center, or OCC, uh, germinated about a year ago when we recognized the complexity of the task at hand and, and the challenges that that would, would uh, provide for delivery on time, on schedule. We have employees from both Southern Nuclear, Westinghouse, and CBI. We truly are one team. We don't think of ourselves as Westinghouse, CB&I, or Southern. We really think of ourselves as one team in the Vogel Project, solving our project's problems. You know, in January, we had unusual weather events here. You know, record low temperatures, and a lot of the support systems weren't necessarily designed for those temperatures. So we came out of that weather event, tried to immediately go back to work, and we had some frozen pipes, and we, we were trying to do testing that we required some very specific quality and grade of water. So our plant wasn't able to produce because it was still frozen. 
And, uh, and as a matter of fact, we had one of the people in the center that day was a Southern employee, and he says, I know just where to get it. So he calls up unit one and two, and we had the water that we needed, and we didn't miss a beat. We actually met, met the schedule for that day that way. We would never have been able to accomplish that prior to the center. Thanks, George. The Operations Control Center is clearly a mission-critical facility which greatly impacts the success of the Bogle 3 and 4 project. While various activities around the site have a great impact on our company, there are also many economic implications for our nation, our state, and the local community here in Burke County, Georgia. In fact, the Vogel 3 and 4 project will employ approximately 5,000 people during peak construction and create 800 permanent full-time jobs. Let's hear from Ashley Roberts with the Burke County Chamber of Commerce with more on this story. We've been fortunate to have Plant Vogel in our community for a long time and have had that economic impact um, affecting our community for that period. But with the expansion, it has obviously increased over the past few years. And it is evident through the sales tax numbers, the jobs created, and then the, just the ripple effect of all of that in our community. Every community probably has struggled over the past few years with the economic downturn. You know, we felt some of that as well, but we were fortunate to have Plant Vogel and the prospect of the expansion and people looking forward to that. And it has obviously increased our business in the community with um, more people in town, more people in the restaurants, people shopping, the uh, property tax revenue that we are very fortunate to have. And, has had an incredible impact on our local government as well as the school system. And because of those tax revenues, our schools are able to provide state-of-the-art technology, facilities, and offerings to the students that probably would not be able to be offered otherwise. The Best Office Solutions is just one example of an opportunity for a local business to capitalize on the expansion out there. They've been able to get their foot in the door and be able to offer office supplies, but also they do furniture design. So they've created an opportunity and relationship in furnishing all of the new offices. We started doing business with Plant Vogel in 2001. Definitely been a great impact. It's uh, in, enabled us to do bigger furniture projects and different things like that. And hopefully it's been a win-win for both of us. We couldn't be where we are today if they hadn't supported us. In 2009, uh, the recession really did hit Burke County pretty hard but we were very fortunate to have Vogel here supporting us locally and I don't think if Vogel wasn't here I'm not sure that we could make it through that recession. I think it's very important for people to realize what a good corporate citizen that Plant Vogel is in our community and George Power and their partners and the contributions that they make beyond the economic impact supporting the United Way campaign, putting in a team in the Relay for Life fundraiser or just recently doing a community project for the Martin Luther King Day they support the quality of life in the community and they take an active role. And in a small community, that makes a big difference. Thanks so much, Ashley, for sharing the difference the Vogel 3 and 4 project is making here in Burke County. When completed, Vogel 3 and 4 will produce enough electricity to power 500,000 Georgia homes and businesses. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks so much for joining us as we continue this exciting journey towards the completion of the first new nuclear in 30 years here at Plant Vogel. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.